Welcome, Mr. Bachchan. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you for having me on your show. <laughs> you know, you've spoken about the equation with uh, Balki. You've done three films with him. Uh, and the best thing about him is uh, his unique ideas, his creative thinking. Tell us about that equation. Balki has always been somebody that has uh, thought differently. Yeah. He has uh, uh, different ideas of how to write a story, how to present it, how to challenge his artists that work in his film with different mm -hmm. kind of roles, uh, characters that they've never done before. and. Uh, that's one of the most exciting things that yeah. uh, that one experiences while working with him. Mm -hmm. Some creative people are not very open to ideas. Like you said about when an interview was reading, you said about how Balki is so open to ideas, uh, feedback from you, and how you almost rewrote the script of Power because of the inputs that you gave him. Tell us about that. Balki is uh, extremely receptive. He uh, he has a, a very intelligent mind, and um, most of the time he's correct. Mm. Yeah. Uh, there's that odd moment when I when I bully him into doing <laughs> something my way. But uh, we always uh, do both versions. Okay. You know, uh, we'll say, let's do both, and, and in the final Shout cut, out, we'll yeah. see what is appropriate. So, yes, when when he came with the idea yeah. of, uh, um, well, obviously, it was uh, quite astonishing the way he, he narrated the, the thought for me, and I was wondering how they were able to do something and make me 13 years old. Then when the story yeah. progressed, I felt that maybe, you know, it was perhaps not going in the right direction. And uh, we talked, we discussed, yeah. and he said, okay, let me think about it. And then he went home and, and said, you know, I've torn that script and I'm going to write another one. We also heard stories about how he's, he very funnily narrates the script also. So we heard about how this Shamatab, he narrated the, an idea to you in your ears at a party. Is that true? That's bulky for you, you know. He's, <laughs> he comes across with some really crazy ideas. <laughs> I wonder what he was drinking at that point. <laughs> The song Pidli has really caught on. Tell us how that came about and how was it singing for Lia Raja? I mean, he's a, he's a genius himself. Yes. Uh, I've never sung in front of him. Okay, you haven't. And modern technology helps me do that. Yeah. Um, I sang just a small portion of a, of a song in pa with mm -hmm. him in a studio, but uh, that's the only daring that I could do. Were you in a wee bit nervous singing in front no, of him? No, very. Uh, that's why I okay. never went in front of him. But the song itself is, yeah. is not just something that he wanted me to sing as, a, as an artist or as a singer yeah. because I'm not a singer. There is a reason in the script yeah. why the song comes, okay. why it has been uh, um, given to me to sing it, mm -hmm. um, and why I'm sitting on this wonderful come seat that I've been <laughs> brought across from with great effort. But yeah, since you know this little thing was here, mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, might be we can use it as a mic. So. <laughs> So we just improvised on the set. Before singing or shooting <laughs> or before, before recording, do you ever do riyas? Do you quickly practice at home? No, no, no. no? I, I don't know. I don't know yeah. all this. I just go in front of the mic and thankfully nobody's around and I don't mm -hmm. want anybody around. It's very, it's, it's a very self-conscious moment for me. And Why self-conscious? Because, you know, I'm not a singer and I, mm -hmm. I'm self-conscious. Uh, so don't ask me to sing right now for your I program. Won't. Because I won't be able to do it. <laughs> in an interview, Balki was uh, talking about the film, and he said it's about two people's ego clashes. And it's also about how an actor's journey is not his own. You know, his success is attributed to all of people who work with him, his team. Mm -hmm. So in your life, Mr. Bachchan, who are those people who really, you know, contribute to your success of being an actor, a star, a superstar? Well, some of those accolades I, I don't deserve. But I think that writers yeah. uh, who write stories, they are the most important mm -hmm. people. And writers actually are also brilliant actors. Really? Because they wouldn't write those dialogues if they weren't actors. The actor per se doesn't do much. He merely goes and presents his face and uh, repeats what has been written for him, uh, behaves as the director tells him to, lip syncs a song as directed by a music director. The credit really goes to the team. So Balki is right when he says it's a collective, mm -hmm. cooperative effort. Mm -hmm. Tell us about Dhanush, Mr. Bachchan. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, you suggested Dhanush to Balki, right? Yeah. Uh, Dhanush is an exceptional Absolutely. artist. Uh, he's very unassuming, and when you watch him, you know, many people think, you know, he doesn't have all the qualities that 
that are required in a in a star or an actor when absolutely. you first see them. But yeah, absolutely. When he comes on screen and when he performs, he lights up the screen completely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and that's really how it should be mm. because. Um, that's what his nature is, that's what his quality is, that's what his talent is. Mr. Bachchan, how is it when you work with your kids of you know, your friends like Rajini Kant, the Kamal Hassan? You've seen that some of them grow up in front of you. Yes, yeah. well, virtually born in front of me. Yeah. You try to, uh, um, you know, look for um, you know, moments where you feel, uh, do they possess, have they caught on to this, are they doing yeah, this because yeah. their father is like this? <laughs> but no, I think that they're all very individual, yeah. they're very talented in their own respect, mm -hmm. they have their own mind, they have yeah. their own ideas, which is something that I admire in today's right. generation as well, because I feel that they are tremendously talented. Do they ever feel intimidated working with you? Because a lot of people have spoken you know, to some of them are actors because of you, Mr. Bachchan. It's too far all this, you know, this but I'm sure, I mean, some way do try of... to make them feel comfortable no, because, no, you the, know... This, is a, this yeah. is a fallacy, it's a huge fallacy that people think like this, it's not. Yeah. Uh, when you're in front of the camera, you're playing an artist, you're just another colleague. I, I'm a great admirer and a, and a huge, huge uh, fan of Dilip Saab and yeah. Vahida Ji. And when you get an opportunity to be in their yeah. company, just in their company, it's, uh, it's like, you know, fate has, has willed it and you're here sitting with them when all you saw about them was on this big screen and you were great admirers of theirs wow. and suddenly you're in their company. So yes, that moment is, yeah. uh, is perhaps different. Right. But I think once the camera starts, then we are characters. Uh, recently, what are the social media person of the Mr. Bachchan? To be on Twitter, you have to be very open-minded because, you know, with all the adulation also comes criticism because yep. they have an opinion on almost everything. Mm -hmm. So how do you deal with that part of it? Do you take that well, easily? I think that if you are on a, on, on a social platform, you must be prepared for that. Uh, um, uh, there are many that, you know, dislike yeah. that. Yeah. They don't like to be abused, but you have to get used to it. I look upon that as something positive rather mm -hmm. than look upon it as you know something rude and I shouldn't be allowing somebody to say that to me mm -hmm. but one has to respect their circumstances I would like to know why they think that exactly yeah. so sometimes I do get into discussion you know you abused me here so wh what why? do you think I did wrong <laughs> yeah. and then we have a we have a healthy argument and uh, uh, through writing, of course. Right. Mr. Bachchan, this young generation of actors, they're very cued into the entire commerce and trade of Bollywood. Mm -hmm. you know, the box office numbers, you know, they, I mean, they're all there. So w was that maybe in your time also in the 70s and 80s? I, I'm, I, I'm terrible at that and really? still am. I, I still don't know how it works. But that is one of the qualities that I admire in the new yeah. generation, that they are aware of, of the business side, the commercial side. And it's not just, uh, it's not just here. Uh, right. I had an opportunity to work in, in, a, in a Hollywood film and right. uh, uh, it, it was a film called The Great Gatsby, yeah, and uh, I've seen that, yeah. I worked with uh, you know Leonardo DiCaprio and Tony, uh, Toby Maguire, and everyone. And they, I was, I was surprised to. I asked uh, Leonardo, and yeah. he said, you know, I manage my stuff myself. Really? So, even though there is this great management uh, process that yeah. happens in Hollywood. He was one such person who did it on his own. Abhishek is also co-producer of the film, right? So do you do you get involved in the production also? I don't know. Do production. you all like exchange notes and, at all? Uh, <laughs> no. As a family, we don't know production, but uh, <laughs> we hold hands with people. Yeah. Uh, so Abhishek has held hands with two or three other individuals, yeah. hmm. and um, and uh, that's a part of the management. You know, yeah. production is yeah. is a really tough job. Hmm. Uh, right. We're not equipped to do that, but yeah. Abhishek is there as a as a partner. Hmm. And as I said, we hold hands with hmm. two or three other people. Hmm. After having done so many films, Mr. Bachchan, is there any kind of role that really strikes you, like, I want to do this, I haven't done yeah, this I yet? I hope there is. I, yeah. I hope that uh, there, are, there are roles, but I can't think of them. I would personally think it, it, uh, it diminishes some kind of an interest if you um, think up something for yourself. I okay. would rather that somebody else thinks for me <laughs> and then puts me with my back against the wall and says, OK, buddy, let's see you do this. Spachan, how do you feel on the day of release? After so many years, so many movies, do you still feel like the tinge of oh, yes. anxiety? Yes, indeed. Yeah. Um, apprehensive. Yeah. Um, wondering what the audience is going to think, whether it's going to be accepted, yeah. rejected. But when was the last time you went to a theatre to watch your own film? No, I keep going uh, really? quite, quite, quite often. Uh, to watch my own film? No, no I haven't yeah. done that in a you while. You see the audience reaction, like in all these young kids nowadays, they all go to the theatres to see their own films. No, I haven't been to a theatre for a very long time. Yeah. Maybe I should. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ms. Bashan, for talking with us. It was a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks Thank very you. much.